Good afternoon, everyone. This afternoon, we are going to look at uh, how to simplify negative powers of indices. And um, we have a rule on negative powers. Here is the rule. If you have x to the power negative m, so here you notice that the, the power is negative. And so the way you, you simplify this one is by changing it to a positive. And uh, you write it reciprocal, like the way it has been written here. So in other words, we say you, you say 1 over and then x, x to the power m. Now the m becomes positive because of this one that you have here. So as a reciprocal. So now let's look at the following examples just to, uh, to try and understand what we have here. So the first example that we have is 3 to the power negative 2. So according to the rule that we have, according to the rule that we have, 3 to the power negative 2 will be equal to 1 over 3 squared, which is equal to 1 over 3 squared is the same as 3 times 3. Okay, so when we evaluate this, we are going to have 1 over 3 times 3 is 9. And we have simplified 3 to the power negative 2. So let's go to the next uh, the next example. So the second example is 2 thirds or 2 over 3 to the power negative 2. Okay, so for this one here, for this one here, um, we have a fraction here in the brackets. So for us to, to change this power to a positive, all we do is, is just to interchange these two numbers, to swap them the numbers that are in the brackets. So we are going to have 3 over 2 and the power will be a positive power, will change to a positive power. And then this is going to be 3 over 2 times 3 over 2 because we have the power which is 2, 3 over 2 squared. And so here we are going to have 3 by 3 or 3 times 3 which is 9 over 2 times 2 which is 4. And then, so this is, this is the rule that we have here. So take notice here that the, the rule that we have used here is the same rule that we used on top here. Because here we have a fraction 2 over 3. And therefore, um, another way of explaining what we have done on top here is by saying that we just swap these two numbers. And then the power changes to a positive. Even on top here, if we go back to the first example, you notice that we have a 1 on top there. It's because this 3 to the power negative 2 is the same as 3 over 1 here. And so you swap these two numbers, you have 1 over 3 and then you square and you have that. So let's go to, to the third example. So in the third example, we have 4 over 9 uh, to the power negative 3 over 2. So the first step is always to change the power to a positive power. And so what we do is we swap these numbers in the brackets. We interchange them. The denominator becomes the numerator and the numerator will become the denominator. And so we are going to have 9 over 4 to the power 3 over 2. So you notice that the powers become positive. The sign of the powers changed to a positive because the numbers in the brackets here have been interchanged. And so we evaluate this. So when we are looking at um, fractional powers, we are told to say that the first thing that you do when you have fract a fraction, which is a power, is to introduce the radical sign, which is this sign here. And then the number that you have here in the denominator of the power, the 2 is the one that comes here. But normally when you have a 2 there, we don't usually put it there. Okay, but in this case, I'm going to put it. And then the, big, the bigger number here in the brackets comes under the radical sign here, 9 over 4. And then you can put this in the brackets. And then the 3 on top there uh, on the power is going to be the power there. And then we can evaluate this. So here we are going to have, um, since this is a 2, we are finding the square root here. The square root of 9, which is 3, and the square root of 4, which is 2. And then remember, we have this power here, 3. So we have power 3. And so this is going to be 3 over 2 times 3 over 2 
times 3 over 2. This is what the power of 3 means. It means you multiply this by itself 3 times. And you are going to have 3 times 3, which is 9 times 3, you have 27. So you are going to have 27 here. 2 times 2 is 4 times 2, you are going to have 8. And so this is our answer. And so this is how you evaluate um, negative powers. So thank you very much for paying attention.